Greetings, my name is Kerry and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking to you about some series that I own that I haven't read yet, that I haven't started on yet. So you may remember back at the start of the year I talked about the series that I was partway through that I needed to complete. I sort of had a bit of a realisation the other day that I own a lot of books from series that I haven't actually even started them. So some of them I just own the first book, some of them I actually own the whole series and I haven't attempted to read them yet. So I thought it might be fun to just go through some of the series that I own that I have not even started on yet and to see how many there are. So I'm just going to go through them quite quickly. Most of these I don't know very much about because as I say haven't started them yet. I think the majority of them are going to be fantasy because fantasy I think is more prone to having series than other genres. And there's a few science fiction thrown in there, a few historical fiction and a few slightly random ones maybe. Yeah let's just get on with it. So the first series that I have not started to read yet that I own some of is the Tripods Trilogy by John Christopher. I actually own all of these and I own the prequel as well. So I know this is science fiction, it's about an alien invasion, that's about all I know really. I think it's considered to be a classic. I'm sure I'll get to it at some point and let you know what I think when I do. Then the next series that I own some of is actually one that I want to start soon. So I have read some of these before when I was younger but I didn't read them in any particular order and I don't own all of them. I was borrowing them off a friend. So I've sort of tried to, over the years to gradually collect as many as I can. I've not got very far yet. So this is the Pern series by Anne McCaffrey. This is a series that is actually broken down to a lot of sub-series as well. So there are numerous sub-series. There's a recommended reading order on her website, which is the order that I'm going to follow. So I have nine out of these books. There are 25, I think, official books but then there are extras as well and it's quite hard to follow so I'm just going to go by the reading order on the website. So I have the first eight and then I have a random later one and this is a series that I remember really enjoying the ones of it I read when I was younger so I'm really keen to get back into these. The next series I want to talk about is one that is I know really popular on booktube which is why I picked it up actually in the first place so I bought this first book this year. This is the Winter Night Trilogy by Catherine Arden so this is the first book The Bear and the Nightingale. I've heard really really good things about this series so I bought this on a whim when I was in Hay on Y earlier in the year because I really want to get into it. I think it's inspired by Russian folklore which is something that I really love. Looking forward to getting into this series. This is probably one I'll start this year because I'm aiming to read all the books I buy this year this year. Hopefully I'll enjoy it and want to carry on with the series. And next similarly is another series that I've heard a lot of good things about and this is one that I actually got this from the Ninja Book Box pre-loved bookstore but I think it is actually new. It doesn't look like it's been read before. So this is The Rebel of the Sands trilogy by Alwyn Hamilton. I really love this cover, it's very shiny. So I own this one in this trilogy. There are two more plus I think there are some like prequels or extra stories as well. And this is another one that I want to try and get to this year. So again I've had really good things about this series. I think it's and see but I'm really looking forward to getting into that one. The next one is another one that is a long series made up of lots of shorter series and again it's one that I know is really popular on booktube and one that I really really want to get to soon so this is Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. This is the first book in the Realms of the Elderlings series so I think there are 16 books in the full series of the Realm of the Elderlings that broken down into trilogies and sets of four whatever you call that and then I think there are a few extras thrown in as well so again I'm going to try and follow the official reading order. I've been sitting on this for a long time I've been wanting to read the, these since I started watching booktube which was well over a year ago so I really want to try and get to this one this year but I only own this one so far so again it's another series that once I get into it if I enjoy it I'll have to keep buying them. Sticking with the ones that are popular on booktube theme, we've got Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. This is the Book of the Ancestor trilogy. I believe it's a trilogy. So again, I own this one. I bought this one in a charity shop for quite cheap because I've heard really good things about this series. I don't know very much about it. I think it's about assassin nuns, which is quite a fun concept. I don't know how soon I'll get around to this one. It's not very high on my list again because I only own the first one. So we'll see. Next we have the Space Trilogy by C.S. Lewis. So I have had these for ages and I've been meaning to read these for ages. I have all three of them. I don't know why I keep putting them off. So I will try, I'll probably try and get to these sooner rather than later. I really like C.S. Lewis as an author, but I think I have been putting these off because I heard some of his attitudes toward women in these books are not 
very complimentary so maybe that's why I've sort of been a bit hesitant to pick them up because I don't really want to tarnish him as an author who's one of my favourite authors, particularly his non-fiction. The next three series I'm going to talk about are all by the same author but they're all separate series. We have a duology, a trilogy and a series of six. These are all by Stephen Lawhead so first we have the Imperion duology. I have all of these books, all of these Stephen Lawhead ones. My dad is a massive Stephen Lawhead fan and has recently reread them all and then passed them on to me. So I have both books in this duology. I don't really know what it's about. I think this one might be science fiction actually. I don't really know much about this duology. And then we have the Song of Albion trilogy. I think this is fantasy but it might be magical realism. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know much about this trilogy either. And then we have the Pendragon Cycle, which is a series of six books. And again, I have all of them. I did actually read this one, Taliesin, when I was much younger. And I remember really enjoying it and then sort of meant to get around to reading the rest of the series and never did. So my dad's now given me all of them. Out of the three series, this is probably the one I'll start with, even though it's the longest. The books are longer and there are more of them. But because I have read this one before, I think I know I'll enjoy this series. So I might get to this one first out of those three. But again, I'm not sure when I'll get to these. They're not massively high priorities on my list because they are quite chunky. <laughs> and I have a lot of books to read. Then we go on to something completely different. This is the Out of the Hitler Time trilogy by Judith Kerr. So these are three stories, I think sort of aimed at children, based on her own experiences of fleeing Nazi Germany during the war and resettling in England. So this is all three in one bind up edition. I bought these a year ago after seeing the exhibition of her illustrations at Mottis Font which is a local National Trust property to where I live and I've been meaning to read them and she sadly passed away earlier this year so I think I'll probably try and get to these this year. So next we have, I'm not quite sure how, where this series came from, I think this was a, a situation where I bought the second one not knowing it was part of a series so then I had to try and find the first one. I actually found it in a charity shop or in a used book sale, I can't remember. Anyway so this is the Commandant's Girl series by Pam Genoff so there are two main books in this series. I think there's also a prequel. These are historical fiction about the Second World War. So it's about the mistress of uh, a senior Nazi official. It could be really good, really interesting. I do quite like books that in the, during the World Wars and that give different perspectives on those. So next we have a series called The Secret of the Journal by C.F. Dunn. This is the first one, Mortal Fire. There are five books in the series. This is the only one I own. I think these are sort of historical mystery kind of, it sounds like. So the main character is a history professor. There are apparently five books. I didn't realise that. I bought this one ages ago and I've never got around to reading it. Who knows when I get around to them. I think the ones where I own more of them, I feel like I should prioritise them because I have them and it will get them off my TBR. But some of the ones where I only own one of them are the ones that are more intriguing more interesting to me which requires buying more books so who knows which way I'll go. Next we have the Tommy and Tuppence series by Agatha Christie. There are five in the series and I own two of them. I own the first one and the last one. I'm going to start the series this year. This is actually one of the oldest books on my TBR and I'm intending to read through these and through the Poirot ones once I finish reading through Marple so I'll probably alternate these and Poirot until I run out of these because there are only five of these and there are like 50 Poirot books. I'm interested to see how she deals with two central characters as opposed to one in the Marple and the Braro. I really love Agatha Christie and just really got into her in the last year or so and I think she's a genius so I'm really keen to read all of her books. So we're back into fantasy now so we have the Swords and Fire series by Melissa Caruso. This is the first one. This is the only one I own, The Tether Mage. I bought this on a bit of a whim because it was really cheap on Amazon and I have been following Melissa Caruso on Twitter. She did this epic thread about sword fighting and ball gowns, which was really cool and made me really want to read her books. And then this was reduced. I'm really keen to read it. It's the first in the trilogy and the whole trilogy sounds amazing but I'm trying to not let myself buy multiple books by the same author until I've read at least one so that I know that I enjoy it. Next we have another fantasy series, this is the Magic Kingdom of Landover series. There are six in this series and I have the first two by Terry Brooks. I was given these by a friend, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to read them or not. Again they're on the oldest books on my Goodreads TBR. So I think I might give this first one a try and see how I feel or I might just 
decide to unhaul them. Concept sounds quite intriguing, it sounds like it could be quite funny, but I'm not overly fussed about them, so we'll see. I'm gonna try and start this one this year because they are on the, that oldest books on my TBR list and I need, to, I need to start clearing books from my TBR, so I need to give them a go really. And these books form very precarious piles next to me. <laughs> So next, I think we're still in the fantasy realm here with the Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard. So there are four books in the series plus a few extra novellas and I just own this first one. So I know this is a really popular series on booktube and so it's again one that I'm quite keen to get into. But again, it's one where I only own the first book so it would require buying more books. Next we have the study series by M Maria V. Snyder. So there are at least six books in this series. I think there are again some novellas and I just own this first one. I don't remember where I got it from, I think it came from a charity shop. I know this first one is about a girl who becomes the food taster for someone important. I hadn't realised this was part of a series when I bought it, I don't think, and now I found out that there are actually six plus books in this. Again, this one is not very high priority, we'll see when I get to it. So the next series is not entirely a series, they're just a sort of themed books but I don't think it's a true series but anyway it's ones that I'm really intrigued to read. I've actually had this first one a really long time and never got around to reading it. So these are the Shoes books by Noel Straitfeld. There are 11 in total in this series. I have two of them. I'm really looking forward to reading this one and I think the other one I have is like the sixth one but I'm going to try and get them and read them in order even though they're not a true series like I think it's there are unrelated stories all through but because they're listed on Goodreads numbered I want to read them in order because to, otherwise it messes with my brain. Next we have the Reckoner series by Brandon Sanderson so this is the first one I only own this one this is a trilogy but again I think there are some novellas linked to it. I was actually bought this for my birthday a couple of years ago by a friend and I'm really sorry that I haven't got around to reading it yet I really do mean to because everyone keeps telling me that I really love Brandon Sanderson and I really want to give him a try. I have read the Wheel of Time books which he the series that he finished off for Robert Jordan after Robert Jordan passed away so I'm pretty sure I will like his writing it's just a matter of getting two books that he actually just wrote himself rather than ones that he co-wrote. Yeah so I have this series I think this is a science fiction YA series as opposed to his books are generally more fantasy but I'm not entirely sure so I'm really keen to give that one a go. Next we have another massive series that is made up of shorter series. It's what, another one I think you've heard me talk, talk about before. This is the Discworld series by Terry Pratchett. I don't know how many of these I have because I haven't bothered to count. I haven't actually added them to my Goodreads because I haven't definitely decided if I want to read the whole series yet. These were given to me by my brother because he collected loads of them when he was a teenager and then decided he didn't want them anymore and I couldn't see them go. I have read some of them when I was a teenager and I did enjoy them so I probably will at some point read all of them. I have a friend, um, Lucy, who's also trying to sort of collect and read through all of them so I think we're going to compare notes of which ones we've got at some point and then borrow from each other so that neither of us has to go out and buy loads more. So hopefully between us we've got the whole series but I say I don't actually know how many I've got. I think there are 42 in the series but it may be more because it's really difficult to tell on Goodreads and again I've got a list I think on on the website of what order you're meant to read them in so I probably will read all of these at some point. Next we have another pair of series by the same author. It's actually an author that I really love but I haven't read anything of hers for a while so this is Francine Rivers and the first series I'm going to talk about is called Martyr's Legacy, so this is a duology. Um, I have both of the books in this duology, so I might get around to these soon. I also have a number of her standalones that I haven't read yet as well. She's a very prolific writer in the sort of Christian romance, I suppose, slash historical fiction. Not quite sure how to define her books. Yeah, it's been a while since I've read any of her works, so I really want to get back into them. I have both of this series. The other series that I've got of hers it's called The Mark of the Lion. This is a trilogy and I only own the first one but I've heard really good things about this trilogy so I don't know which of these I'll get to first or whether I'll read some more of her standalones first. I'm pretty sure I'll enjoy them because I've enjoyed everything I've read that she's written so far. Um, next we have another one that I'm sort of not too sure about whether when and whether I'm going to read it. So this is the Von Eigelfield trilogy by Alexander McCall Smith. 
So this is a bind up of all three books in the trilogy. If you've watched my most recent wrap up, you may remember that I have a sort of a bit of a love-hate relationship with Alexander McCall Smith. Two of his series I really really love and they're some of my favourite books and then others of his books I've really not enjoyed so I don't know whether just to try and get through this one and make a decision about it or whether just to put it off and keep reading the series I know I enjoy. I'm not sure how I'll resolve that one in my own head but at some point I, I don't know I probably will read them. Then we go on to another series that I believe is quite popular on booktube although I don't hear it talked about so much anymore as when I first joined. So this is the Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Ch Children series by Ransom Riggs. There are six books, main books, plus I think a few novellas in this one. I just own this first one. I picked this up in a charity sale because I'd heard it been talked about and I was intrigued when the film came out a couple of years ago but I didn't actually get around to watching the film because I found out that it was books before I saw the film and I always like to try and read the books first if I can. Again this one is not very high priority, this will probably sit on my shelf for a few years until I get around to it. Next we have Delirium by Lauren Oliver. I think this is science fiction like dystopian. Again this was another one I didn't know was a series when I got it. I think it might have been given to me by my dad as well actually. I'm not sure. Anyway so it is a trilogy and I think again there are a few novellas associated with it. Yeah I'm not sure again I'm not sure how soon I'll get to these. I don't know too much about these ones. Next one is another really 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 popular probably the most popular of all the ones I've talked about on booktube. So this is The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. This is the first book Cinder. This is the only one I own. There are four main books in the series plus again a number of novellas. These ones I'm really excited to get to actually. I think I'll really enjoy those. These are science fiction retelling or fairy tales and they sort of build up so more characters are added as they cover different stories in each volume. I know these are really well loved, again I think I'm going to try and get to these ones sooner rather than later. This was actually gifted to me on the bookish wish hashtag last year. Next we have another science fiction series which is the Old Man's War series by John Scalzi. There are six in the series plus again some novellas. I just owned this first one. This was actually given to me for Christmas a couple of years ago by Secret Santa. I've been meaning to get around to this for a while and I just have so many books. I think I will try and get to these soon but who, again who knows. And then Finally we have a couple of sort of more classics I guess. So we have The Foresight Chronicles by John Gullsworthy. So there are nine main works in this plus novellas. This is The Foresight Saga which is the first three books. So there are nine books in total and they're broken down into three trilogies. This is the first trilogy and then there are some standalones that sort of fit in along the way apparently. This is one of the longest books in my TBR. You may have seen me talk about it in that video and it's slightly fragile copy but I actually do really love it. This only cost me a pound apparently as well. So these ones I might take a while to actually get around to because I'd say this is super duper long and knowing that there are like at least another six books to go plus. I'm not going to read them anytime soon probably but I do really love this old edition so I'll get around to it at some point I know. And then finally this one is a bit of a departure because I think this is the only series I own where I don't actually own the first book in it. So this is the I'm not sure if you meant to say it, Smith or P. Smith series by P.G. Woodhouse. There are four books in this series and I own two of them, which isn't as bad as I thought it was. I thought it was a longer series and I own the second and third books. So I don't own the first one, which I will w want to buy before I read it, obviously, because I like to read them in order. I think with P.G. Woodhouse it doesn't actually matter if you don't read them in order, but again, I like to if I can because... I like to do things in order. At some point I will be buying the other ones in the series and reading them but I also have the Jeeves books which I read a couple of which are more important to me. It's a slightly longer series but I'm going to try and read them first. So that is it. I think that's 30 series that I own books of that I haven't started yet. That is on top of I think when I did the series that I need to finish there were 21 on that but I'm not sure. I'm going to link to that video below so you can go and check that one out. I have actually completed a couple of those series now, I think. Sure, so I'll probably do at the end of the year or in the beginning of next year, I'll do again a catch up on where I'm at with all these different series, how many I've finished and how many I've started <laughs> out of these ones. So tune back in at a future date. I'm going to actually put all these in a playlist as well. So that's it for today. Please let me know 
if you've read any of these series and what you thought of them and if there are any that you think I should get to earlier than others or if there are any that you think are just not worth my time and that I should skip like happy to know that too because it will help me cut down my TBR probably so let me know what you thought of any of these books I've talked about find me on my social media that information is listed in the description box and like this video and subscribe if you would like to so yeah that's all I have to say today so thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you again soon bye Thank you.